It's all on video. There's a reason it's called the war on crime. For the next 60 minutes, we'll put you on the front line. You'll see the scariest pursuits, wildest shootouts, and most outrageous outlaws from around the world. Much of this footage has never been seen before. We've gathered these stories from police. What do we need to take him out here now? News agencies. Oh, no. Even citizens on patrol to show you the stark reality that criminals have declared you the enemy. And knowing your opponent is the only way this war will be won. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell. The difference between a criminal being caught or escaping is often a matter of seconds. Responding to a threat quickly is crucial for an officer to be successful. So don't blink. We're gonna show you how officers make every second count. In Dallas, Texas, the chaos begins. A wanted check forger leads cops on a wild pursuit. But there's more going on here than just a felon who wants to get away. The driver is believed to suffer from bipolar disorder and may be off his medication. He's turning back, he's making you turn back. The erratic man thinks he's unstoppable. But even as he tries to lose his tail with an aggressive move, helicopters track him from above. He's back and forth across the highway. The unbalanced suspect turns down an exit. And when the next on-ramp is clogged, he starts kicking up the dirt, really cranking things up a notch. Up on the glass, side by side with cops. Every time police close in, he finds an escape. And his moves are getting more dangerous. Oh, he's losing control. He's getting sideways. He just took out that sign. A violent swerve sends him flying across the grass and straight through a road marker. He makes that. He makes that. Yet somehow, he regains control. Negative, he's getting back on the freeway. He's back on the freeway. And his recklessness on the highway will be nothing compared to what he's about to do on surface streets. The misguided driver beckons his pursuers, daring them to follow as he takes a mind-boggling risk. Tempting fate, he speeds through cross traffic, just missing catastrophe. And it gets even more dangerous. At a railroad crossing. The fugitive blows through the crossing arm. Moments before the train screams by, the officer is forced to wait as the perp gets further away every second. At last, he can go. He floors it to close the gap. But the thief's repeated gambles are about to go bust. The crook squeezes into the intersection. He's not stopping, he's pulling out. And a pickup nearly shears off his engine block. The brutal collision catapults the crumpled sedan 50 feet down the road. Following the wake of debris, officers swarm the wreck. 
and break out a window to reach the rebellious forger. He's seriously injured, and paramedics have to cart him to a hospital for treatment before he's tried, convicted, and given a seven-year prison sentence. This allegedly bipolar outlaw had a criminal streak, made doubly destructive by his condition. He's best to take. Now he'll have to get his treatments in prison. After dishing this bad medicine on the streets. In Foshan, China, an unstable man has gone from losing his cool to losing his head. He was in a bloody scrap earlier, and police had to break it up. But when he pulled a butcher knife and put it to his neck, officers were quick to back off. They now have him surrounded on the street, where passing pedestrians gawk. And even paparazzi gathered to record the tense standoff. But two of these men aren't just onlookers. They're plainclothes cops moving into position to strike. They know if the suicidal man gets even a whiff of their plan, he might bathe the street in blood. So they have to wait for just the right moment as fellow officers distract him with negotiation to spring their trap. It's a perfect ambush. One goes high, grabbing the knife. One goes low, and down goes the threat. They help him to his feet, and seconds later, a medical team tends to his minor wounds. Tonight, he'll be taken away to a psych ward. But the suspect will eventually be thankful for these two patient policemen who kept him from cutting his throat by cutting him down to size. Del Norte County, California. In Pelican Bay Prison, a gang fight is about to erupt. The inmate in the bathrobe has a beef with the men in this cell. But when the doors open for communal time, they don't feel like talking. A rival gangster kicks the man's face as a pair of partners joins in to triple team him. The beaten convict gets help from an ally who diverts two of the bruisers. But the odds quickly change again. Hotheads from every side charge into the fray, all wanting a piece of the action. The aggression has now spiraled way beyond gang rivalry. It's utter chaos as criminals use the free-for-all to settle personal scores. One tough guy tries to surprise a longtime foe and suffers a preemptive strike. And when the con in the robe finally breaks free of his punishment, even he passes the pain on to someone else. Officers force the feuding parties to opposite sides of the hall. A few inmates try to get in some last licks, but it's the guards that have the final word. Authorities take control, sending everyone back to their cells and the worst offenders to solitary. Though a private vendetta led to this fight, it sparked a prison-wide melee. And the only way to cage the violence was for guards to lay down the law. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Videos, geezers teach a thieving youngster that two heads are better than one. A robber playing fast and loose suffers the worst misfire of all time. 
and a sopping wet fugitive gets put through the spin cycle. Next. the most frequently abused drugs in America don't come from Mexico or the Golden Triangle in Asia. They come from your neighborhood drugstore, where an addict will do whatever it takes to get his next fix. At a pharmacy in Lafayette, Louisiana, a man enters holding a shirt over his mouth and nose. But he isn't fighting an allergy attack. He's itching for some prescription drugs. The junkie, Russell Giangrosso, orders pharmacist Dick Haber to get him some Oxycontin. And lots of it. Of course, carrying the stash will be a two-handed job, which means one thing. He better get that mask tied on correctly. How high do you have to be for this sort of brilliance? When Haber returns, he can't believe his eyes. This kid just wrote him a prescription for payback. But Russell is so focused on the dope, he's forgotten about the weapon. And when the bumbling tweaker gets aggressive, the druggist gives him his medicine. Haber grabs the pistol, and Russell trips out. As a co-worker jumps in, the gun falls free. But they've tilted the odds. And when a third senior enforcer swoops in, he matches this punk headlock for headlock. Looks like someone's been taking their daily vitamins. The second worker retrieves the piece, then goes to call for help. Russell decides to cut his losses. Well, except for one. But nabbing that last vial earns him a sneaker suppository. As he tears for the exit, Haber grabs a gun of his own, ready to add some lead to this guy's diet. He's understandably upset. But when he gets outside, he takes the proverbial chill pill and decides it's not worth killing this loser. His pal is irate that the perp is getting away. But he won't get far. He's in a stolen truck that has a security tracker. And within an hour, police report that they have nabbed him. This drug fiend thought a pharmacy staffed by geriatrics was a soft target. But he clearly forgot to take his brain meds. He also learned that robbery may cause loss of property and a feeling of helplessness. Not to mention difficulty breathing. And in extreme cases, a severe pain in the ass. Atlanta, Georgia. At this travel lodge, a soon-to-be legendary stick-up man enters the lobby. He pauses at a vending machine, unaware he's buying his last meal. The snacker comes to the counter and asks clerk Varges Patel if he has change for a 50. But when Patel counts the bills, the robber pulls a pistol, a move that's about to seal his fate. The frightened clerk cooperates as the man empties the drawer almost casually. Unfortunately, that's also how he's holding his gun. As the crook grabs the dough, he accidentally squeezes the trigger, firing twice. The first shot hits Patel in the stomach, but the recoil throws the barrel back, shooting the gunman point blank. Patel painfully reaches up to the desk and calls 911 with the deadly weapon lying next to him on the counter. He'll recover in the hospital, but the thief will not. He foolishly thought waving a pistol would help him score a few easy bucks. 
but not knowing how to handle the tools of his illegal trade was a killer. In Wilder, Kentucky, an arrest quickly goes bust. Spotted at a gas station, this fugitive just ran down a cop to escape. And in these slick, rainy conditions, his manic driving could prove even deadlier. The man races down a boulevard, risking a devastating hydroplane. But a stretch of flooded road allows Officer Mike Murdoch to catch up. For Murdoch, there's no hesitation. Time to nail this guy. Shaken, the perp misjudges a turn. and ends up locking bumpers in a fierce shoving match. But a jolt knocks the suspect free. And he speeds away. The runner presses his luck even harder, blasting through stop signs and dodging approaching cruisers, barely avoiding a deadly head-on. Murdoch moves in for another hit, but this time, the renegade darts onto a narrow one-way street. The wrong way. The instant they reach the end of the block, Murdoch sends another jarring message. But it doesn't get through to the slippery driver. He manages to steer clear of the wet wipeout. But the officer is relentless. He wallops the punk at every opportunity with a slew of teeth-rattling hits. Panicked, the marauder nearly takes out a school bus, threatening the lives of oncoming traffic again. He sprints desperately toward an opening. But on these waterlogged roads, he's in over his head and spins himself out. Pinned in, the perp revs his engine. But lawmen swarm him, guns in his face. Now the rainy day runner will get 13 years after pouring on the infractions, including assaulting an officer. The man's original crime was nothing more than credit card fraud. But this idiotic swindler was also on a four-day crack bender. His cloudy judgment caused a harrowing chase and a deluge of new charges that will leave him more than washed out. Just ahead, on world's wildest police videos, the only thing dumber than taking this joyride is getting slap happy with officers. And a cop responding to a call gets sent home early. Then later, a school bus thief learns the science of police intervention. Police sirens ring out at 120 decibels. That's nearly as loud as a rock concert. So when officers answer a call, everybody should know that they're coming. But somehow, people still get caught off guard. In Duncanville, Texas, Officer Luis Cern pulls a U-turn to track down a speeder. After all, leadfoots are a danger to everyone on the road. Unfortunately, so are distracted drivers. A daydreaming motorist starts to cross the street. CERN tries to swerve behind, only to see the sedan stop square in his path. The squad car plows into some trees. 
Looks like the speeder will get away without a ticket. 41, 41. But CERN is lucky to get away with his life. In Tigard, Oregon, Officer Caleb Phillips is in full emergency responder mode. With his lights flashing and siren blaring, the whole world should know he's coming. But a driver in his own world will cause some hard-hitting reality. Instead of pulling over, the oblivious person cuts left and turns this roadway response into a terrifying house call. It's just luck that no one is injured. But in Enid, Oklahoma, things won't end as well. K-9 officer Steve Miller just ID'd a career criminal and wanted felon. And when the lawman activates his siren, the lowlife makes a run for it. Almost immediately, he hits a snag. A wide load is blocking traffic, but he improvises. With a death-defying move, Miller follows the maniac across the oncoming lane. But it's going to take some extra muscle to run him down. So he yields to Officer Dwayne Andrews and a souped-up interceptor. Now, with multiple squad cars sounding the alarm and a high-performance cruiser leading the pack, you might think nothing could stop Andrews from catching his prey. But you'd be wrong. A school bus driver doesn't hear the wailing units, and the rig packed with 60 kids slams into the cruiser. As Miller pulls up to the scene, he can see the twisted cab of Andrew's car and a sea of debris. Somehow, none of the children on the bus have been seriously injured. As for Andrews, miraculously, he escapes this devastating crash with only a broken nose. And to top it off, the perp he was chasing is busted just miles down the road. For officers, moments like these are double trouble. They're not only harmful to those involved, but they could let another threat go free. So if you're counting on cops to catch the crooks, they better count on you to get out of the way. It's after hours in this Augusta, Georgia mall. But one determined customer is craving some midnight madness. Security cameras spy the door-smashing drunk as he lays rubber along the upper concourse. A janitor in the food court is stunned to see a pair of headlights racing toward him. He steps aside before he gets mopped up by the hulking ride. Realizing he's been spotted, the trash trespasser makes a quick exit, but he's too late. Police nab him outside. Of course, this rogue has already proven he likes to go for broke. He slaps at the officer, driving him backwards. Then he tries to sprint away. They catch up and douse him with mace. Get on the curb. Get on the curb. And when he still won't surrender, they use a baton to spank this naughty mall rat. Get on the curb. Get on the curb. Get on the curb. 
There you go. Now his foolish escapade will cost him a lot more than just a grounding. Unlike your typical smash and grabber, this joyriding jerk just wanted to smash. But his romp cost thousands of dollars in damages, making it a felony offense. And when you add assaulting an officer to the mix, this guy will now get a 10-year tour of the state prison system. Get on the curb. Get on the curb. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Videos, a slow driving drunk proves quick on her feet. And a smack talking chopper crosses swords with the wrong gunman. It's time for the crooks to get schooled. Next. Work the streets long enough, and you're guaranteed to have some great DUI stories. We've all dealt with the angry drunk who wants to fight everyone, or the happy go lucky lush who wants to be your best buddy. But some boozers are so weird, you've got to see it to believe it. It's 3.30 a.m. in Atlanta, Georgia. Prime time for drunks heading home from a night of partying. This car was pulled over for going under the minimum speed limit. Believe it or not, you're driving too slow. You're doing 35 miles an hour on the interstate. Just looking at the, the sign. The officer asked the woozy woman to take a breathalyzer test. And that's when things start to go downhill. Listen to my instructions. Blow for me. I did. No, you didn't. Just like you're blowing up a balloon. You're barely blowing. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. When the patrolman returns to his car, the nervous Nelly makes a move toward hers. Northbound at uh, Beaufort Highway on a black PT cruiser. Ma'am, I'm not finished talking to you. Can you step back out, please? But if driving off isn't an option, Maybe walking is. Oh, 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 get out of the interstate! Get out of the interstate! Get out of the interstate right now! The saucy dame saunters right into the busy freeway as drivers whip by at 75 miles per hour. Somehow, the cop coaxes her back onto the shoulder. Are you trying to die? Can we get out of the car? And walk onto an interstate three lanes in? Are you that intoxicated? No. He knows he has to restrain her before she gets herself killed. But the thought of cuffs puts this jaywalker into overdrive. You're under. She breaks free and dashes back into the high-speed death trap. A fatality waiting to happen. 1021 got a female running up I-85. Don't rush out in the traffic. 1030, she almost got run over. A bewildered motorist has to crank the wheel to keep from turning her into a hood ornament. From the other side of the freeway, a backup officer races in on foot. The arresting policeman charges ahead to ensure both pedestrians stay safe. 1030, we got her. 1028, is that your prisoner? 1027, jumped over the long guard. Did she get hit? Once cuffed, the drunken Dodger offers a truly bizarre excuse for her behavior. The car. It's possessed. Apparently, she's not only intoxicated by spirits, Get out of the, interstate. the woman's convinced she's being chased by them. The combination of running from officers Are you trying to die? and demons the car. It's possessed. not only earns her charges of DUI and impeding the flow of traffic, but a detour through the psych ward. In this Charleston, South Carolina convenience store, a customer starts to leave without his purchase. It's a simple mistake, but when he retrieves it, this younger man is furious that the old dude would dare invade his space. He starts chewing him out but the elder fellow ignores him and walks away. And that really gets under this jerk's skin. 
As the first guy goes to his car, the belligerent shopper heads for his, where he has a gun waiting. But what he doesn't know is, the man he's pissed at is a cop. And thinking he's Mr. Tough Guy will get his badass full of bullets. The officer sees the weapon against the outlaw's hip and gets the drop on him. He empties his sidearm as the perp returns fire and scurries off like a rat. Officer Omar Brown has sustained a superficial wound in the thigh, but the shooter is found later with nine bullet holes. He survives and will be booked for attempted murder. He gets 16 years in the slammer thanks to an imagined insult that earned him a very real taste of lead. More to come on world's wildest police video. A wrong way speeder heads right into a nightmare. And a mob deal isn't done until they hammer out the details. Next. Istanbul, Turkey. The streets of this city are some of the safest in the world. But every cop knows that underground is where the rats live. This nightclub is a front for the city's most heinous mob activity. As revelers on the first floor dance the night away, gang members head to the basement for a different kind of party. They're here to hash out a weapons deal. But when hot-headed thugs disagree about high-caliber firearms, more than just tempers flare. The deal falls apart when one angry capo lets the business end of his pistol do the talking. He shreds the meeting with a spray of lead. The wise guys flee for their lives, desperately shooting back as the bloodshed spills outside, where multiple gangsters get cut down. The grisly scene is quickly secured by cops. Three gang members have died in the hail of bullets, and four more are seriously injured. Ironically, it's the mobster's own security cameras that do them in. Police seize the footage, and ID the gunman. Several days later, they track him down at a gas station and swarm him, making a quick bust. Once in custody, he snitches on the rest of the goons. And they're swiftly rounded up in a citywide dragnet. The sweep captures some of the crime syndicate's most brutal kingpins and recovers the weapons in this gun deal gone bad. It's evidence of the ruthless war being waged under the city's streets, where the crime rate and the death rate go hand in hand. Henry County, Alabama. Deputy Steve Sanders responds to a call about a car heading the wrong way on a divided highway. Southbound and northbound lane. Sanders flips a U-turn and bolts after the driver. But following him upstream is a dicey proposition. It would only take one distracted motorist to trigger a devastating and possibly fatal head-on collision. But it's not opposing traffic that ends his run. Be advised, he's wrecked, 1050, multiple vehicles. The sedan tears into an intersection, spinning a crossing car one and a half times, and ricocheting into another. Be advised, he's wrecked. The hit knocks the second victim 80 feet down the road, 
Amazingly, this driver is okay, as is the suspect. But inside the first vehicle <laughs> is a mother and her children. You okay? You're not okay? See if we can get them babies out. So we have multiple injuries. We've got some children involved. Thankfully, they'll make a full recovery. I've got the suspect in custody. Lane. The culprit was running from police because he had a suspended license. He's charged with two counts of assault and over a dozen citations because his failure to recognize wrong from right was a one-way ticket to disaster. Next, on World's Wildest Police Videos, when a school bus gets jacked by a deranged thief, it's up to police to ring his bell. The popularity of SUVs and large trucks means that more criminals are driving bigger rigs. That's why police cars are built for hard-hitting confrontations. But some vehicles even put SUVs to shame, forcing cops to take the fight to a whole new level. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Even for veteran cops, a high-speed chase always brings new dangers. But this pursuit will be in a class of its own. Albuquerque, are you? Bus is coming on a 127 eastbound. A 27-year-old man has stolen a school bus. And his recklessness won't earn extra credit with authorities. This thief has a long criminal history involving drugs and violence. So cops want to end his rampant field trip before he causes any casualties. It's a direct hit. Has no front tires anymore. He's running on the rim. Incredibly, despite the damage, the big yellow machine continues to forge ahead. Stopping this guy will require a much more drastic and riskier move. A cop actually tries ramming the behemoth with his squad car. But it's like a mosquito. Nipping at an elephant. And against this tough bus driver, it's the cruiser that ends up shredded. Another officer jumps in the ring and does a gutsy move, grinding against the rear panel. It would be a perfect pit if he wasn't going up against a 10-ton monster. Then suddenly, spikes that were caught under the bus come loose and disable the patrol car. Uh, keep units behind the bus. It's gonna take more muscle to keep this bully from killing someone. A police SUV defiantly charges the Goliath and teaches this big boy a lesson. With a full throttle hit, the giant vehicle whips in a wide arc, slams into the wall, and conks out. Lawmen storm in. And finally, take this class clown to detention. After medical treatment, he'll face charges of theft, fleeing, and reckless driving. This school bus chase was a real education for everyone. Running on the rim. By trial and error.
Cops learned how to tackle a hefty problem. And though this crook flunked at getting away with his crimes, he did get a crash course in hard-hitting justice. In police work, there's one thing you can always count on with lawbreakers. From China to Pelican Bay, from Istanbul to the nearest intersection. Whether it's mine altered mischief or mind bending stupidity, criminals are their own worst enemy. Ah!